Hi everyone, in this problem we're being asked to use implicit differentiation to find dy dx. So here we can assume that y is a function of x. So we start a problem like this by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. You can just start by taking the derivative or you can actually write down that you're going to take the derivative. I'm going to show an extra step this time and just indicate that we're going to take the derivative. So the derivative of the left hand side, so d dx, of y squared minus y e to the x is equal to the derivative of the right hand side. So this is the kind of like an optional step. This just lets the reader know that like, okay, I'm gonna take the derivative uh, with respect to x. All right, remember y here is a function of x. We don't know what it is. So let's take this derivative here first. So y squared. So we have a function of x, which is y, to a power. So we bring down the two we subtract one, so we just get two y, and then we have to use the chain rule. So times the derivative of the inside. You might say, well, what's the inside? The inside function is just y, and its derivative is called dy dx. Again, it's the chain rule. Every time you use implicit differentiation in problems like this, you're thinking of y as a function of x. So you bring down that two, and then you, there's a one here now, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is just dy dx. Here, let's be a little careful. I'm gonna put extra parentheses here, and we'll use the product rule here. So minus parentheses. So this is our first function, this is our second function. The product rule says it's the derivative of the first, so dy dx times the second, so e to the x plus the first, times the derivative of the second and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, okay? And over here, the derivative of 12 is zero. Let me just refresh your memory on the product rule. If you have two functions, f times g, that's a times, it's a weak times. f is the first function, g is the second. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here, it's the derivative of y, which is dy dx, times the second, which is e to the x, plus the first, which is y, times the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. All right, so this is gonna be 2y dy dx minus e to the x dy dx minus y e to the x and that's equal to zero. Okay, so now we can pull out a uh, dy dx. So dy dx, parentheses, and here uh, we were left with 2y minus e to the x, and then here we have minus y e to the x, and this is equal to zero. Uh, we're looking for dy dx, so we factored it out here, and now we're going to add this to the other side. So we have dy dx, parentheses 2y, minus e to the x, and that's equal to y times e to the x. To finish, we'll just divide by all of this. We can do that because it's being multiplied. So 2y minus e to the x over 2y minus e to the x. So we have dy dx equals y e to the x over 2y minus e to the x. And that would be the final answer. A little bit harder. Uh, implicit differentiation takes some practice. Um, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.